Sticker shock is now a normal part of the grocery shopping experience these days. Let's do a double take now. Yeah. You'll see the labels. Well, so anything you do to put some extra money in your wallet is helpful. And tonight we have the tales on five ways to save the next time you head to the store. I just take a lot of effort in you know, shopping around. I don't buy things that I used to. Cindy Gentis of Henderson says she's definitely feeling the pinch when grocery shopping. I clip discounts on my apps. And um, what I really try to do is shop the sales. For the best deals, she says she visits several stores. I shop in bulk. I love Costco. Um, and um, but I can't ob obviously buy everything there and I can't, you know, eat a whole bag of oranges in a couple of days. So I also shop at other stores that give me bargains. Plenty of us are taking similar money saving steps. But chef and author Stephanie Harris Uedi says to really save, you need to be willing to do some work at home. Number one, she says, plan your meals. Part of that process is actually doing a kitchen sweep to see what you've got in your cabinets and your countertops to make sure that you're not double buying. Once you know what you have at home, make a shopping list. So that list is going to help you stay focused and targeted and make sure that you're in and out without distraction or going over budget. Number two, Stephanie says, avoid buying name brands when possible. It's not so secret is that those major store brands, those cereal brands, those soda products, those are often made by the same companies making these off brands or what we call store brands. The difference is just marketing, packaging and overhead. Number three, she says, skip the fresh meat and fresh fish counter. And that's where you're going to pay your premium. I want to direct a lot of people over to the frozen section. Number four, stop buying pre-made home staples and cook your own. Staple items are things like brown rice. Those are things like black beans. Uh, I prep my own salads. You're going to see that price difference month to month, year over year. Finally, number five, don't let food go to waste. Stephanie says, use everything before it goes bad. It happens to us all. We go in the refrigerator and we see, oh my gosh, just spinach is on its last leg. It's got like two more hours left. That's when you get that into a soup of some sort. Cindy agrees and says she makes a conscious effort not to waste any food. But she has one more tip and suggests trying new meals in the kitchen. I am all about Instagram recipes and TikTok recipes. And a lot of times they're just a couple of really key ingredients and they, you know, rice based, veggie based, um, frozen. So, yeah, I've, I've become a lot more creative than I used to be. It's not just Betty Crocker anymore.